everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vincent. Today we have quite an unusual video for this channel because I'm going to share with you my everyday carry for 2020. I'm going to be sharing with you basically the things I like to bring myself to everywhere. Obviously, if I go down to the grocery store, I'm not going to bring my laptop. But you know, if I go on a quick travel trip to somewhere or, or anything like that, these are the kind of things I like to bring. So hope you guys are going to enjoy it because I've been watching a ton of these videos lately and I really enjoy them because I feel like you can tell a lot about a person from just what kind of like items they bring with themselves what is important to them so yeah hope you guys are also gonna find it um, interesting and uh, enjoy it so let's get straight into it item number one would be my headphones uh, guys these are probably one of the most crucial things uh, in my day-to-day -day life I love these things uh, these are Bose no noise cancelling headphones and uh, when I first bought these I was like a little bit hesitant because they are pretty expensive but they are so 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 good like you that's the reason why you see a lot of people wearing these I just put it on I just turn on the noise cancellation and then I basically cannot hear anyone else super super neat headphone highly highly recommend it the next thing which is probably also one of the most important things in my life is my computer because that's where I do you know all of my work from I run a social media agency and I run it completely from my laptop so Having a laptop um, that I can rely on every single day is really, really crucial in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, this is the laptop I've been using for the past almost two years at this point. This is the MacBook Pro 15-inch, um, the um, almost the base model, so it's not like super pimped out. But so far, it's been pretty good. I had some overheating issues with it, which I don't really like. Might gonna have to upgrade to the 16-inch version soon, but, but overall, really, really solid piece of hardware. The build quality is awesome as always so the next item is my bag now I bought this bag around a week ago actually so it's a uh, pretty new still but the reason I bought it is because first of all I think it looks super sick like it, you can see it's it's really minimalistic uh, the fabrics are really really nice it has like a nice front pocket here and uh, you actually unlock it uh, like this so it rolls and um, it has a bunch of space and storage so really really cool bag in my opinion and the reason why I bought it is because it's from a Hungarian startup company and uh, they make these bags here in Hungary I believe and uh, yeah I just love the design and uh, I love the fact that I could kind of like you know contribute and support my local um, startup so yeah amazing bag this is from a company called Yukon Acrobatics so yeah check them out and by the way none of these brands paid me I just genuinely like enjoy these products and I use them every single day so that's why I'm sharing them with you and like I said I love uh, seeing videos like this where I can see like what kind of items people are using on a day-to-day -day basis I might just be a little bit weird but um, yeah let's move on so the next item I really really uh, got into watches around a year ago and a couple months ago I had the uh, fortune to purchase my first like nicer watch uh, and yeah, I, I really enjoy this piece. This is actually a vintage Rolex, a uh, vintage Rolex Datejust 36. Uh, the serial code of this is the 16234. Uh, you guys can probably tell I'm kind of a watch nerd, but uh, yeah, overall, I really, really love the aesthetics of this watch. I mean, this is like a forever classic, the Datejust. I don't think it will ever go out of style. It's been pretty much the same look since, you know, the 70s. Um, so yeah, amazing watch. Nice Nice Jubilee bracelet, super super comfortable. Uh, I love the silver silver dial. Um, this watch is made out of stainless steel and uh, white gold, so uh, yeah, it's not super flashy, but overall, I just. I just love it. I think it's a super neat. All right, my next item would be my wallet. Now, a lot of people are probably going to bully me in the comments for still having one of these chunkier wallets. Uh, these are just like your regular wallet. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like it because I still like to keep cash with me and you know have a lot of cards and shit like that. But I am planning to like upgrade to one of those like very slim and uh, very like sleek looking wallets in the future. But for now, I'm gonna stick with this. I kind of like the design of it, to be honest, and um, yeah, just gets the job done. Next item would be these sunglasses. Now, I had these sunglasses for like two years at this point, 
and uh, yeah, I really like the look. It's you know the classic Raven look. Um, this this is from my Casey Neistat days, uh, and yeah, I just grown to like it a lot. But uh, I'm also looking at buying some new uh, pair of shades for uh, in the future. So yeah, if you have any good recommendations on that, make sure to drop it in the comment section below. The next item would be my iPhone. Now this is obviously one of those things I use most of the time um, throughout my day, and uh, yeah, this is the iPhone. 11 Pro, um, the 64 gigabyte version, I believe. So yeah, I, I bought this phone because I had an iPhone um, 10s before and uh, I actually dropped it and both the back and front uh, screen or like front glass kind of broke so it was so expensive to uh, replace it that I was pretty much just like better off selling it and buying a new iPhone because uh, I would have like I only had to spend a little bit more money to get the new one so decided to upgrade uh, it but yeah, overall love this phone, super fast. I also love the cameras on this one, although I don't use it that much, but when I use it, the quality is awesome on it. So overall, really, really like this phone as well. And last but not least, I always like to have a notebook with me. So wherever I go, I can write down any ideas that I have, you know, any video topics or anything within my agency. Uh, I always like to, you know, write down my thoughts and, uh, and also kind of like journal every single day. So um, yeah, I just have this, simple black notebook. Uh, this actually came with one of the courses that I bought uh, way back in January. So um, yeah, pretty neat little notebook, but nothing special about it. Like I said, uh, it's literally just like an empty notebook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is not the usual kind of content that I create for my channel, but I really wanted to make this video because I enjoy watching these so much. So hope you guys also enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what is your everyday carry, what are some of the things that you like to bring with you wherever you go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it and also go and subscribe to the channel below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.